We went in the lift together. I got out on the fifth floor to where my friend was living and the guy that I was with, he went up to the 22nd floor. He'd never made it. And as I got out the lift, I remember him saying, Charlie, you know where I am if ever you need me. And I said, all right, waved and um, went to the fifth floor, knocked on my friend's door and there was no answer. And so I went back downstairs. Um, at five to one, I was back in the lift in there because you couldn't see any flames or anything by then. He was with my auntie and then um, fire engines came and um, at first they were telling us all to stay in and me and my auntie was just like get out and there was people shouting to us from the windows outside just get out just get out like members of public so we went to get out the first time and there was smoke so we went back again and then after that we said no let's just go after that i went back to my mum's house who resides around the corner and that's when i went back and my mum got it up on twitter and said look and i saw it live on twitter all the flames coming out and i said no way i've just left that block there wasn't no flames since i've been around here there's, i've seen several fires happen in flats oh, yeah. and they've been contained yeah. just a week before then the fire engines were there at another fire yeah. so that's why when i saw the fire engines i thought oh it's probably another hoax because they were just there a week before and it wasn't anything. Two days before, two days before the fire, I was on the stairwell with a friend again, a friend, and um, I said to my friend, can you smell gas? I could smell gas in the stairwell, but now I've been told the reason I smelt gas is because that's where the gas pipes are.